In this video, I'm going to show you how to capture amazing close-up photography of a matchstick bursting into flame. The first thing you want to do is set up a table next to an open window for ventilation and secure a piece of black card to the wall, or even a pile of books as I have here using some blue tack. Then make a small ball from some of the remaining blue tack and position this in front of the paper and then place an unlit match in it. Now set up your camera and use the long end of a kit lens or a macro lens if you have one so that you can make the match head even larger in the frame and focus on the tip of the match then go into manual focus to lock it off. Go into your camera's manual mode and dial in an aperture of f5.6, an ISO of 800 and a shutter speed of 1 4000th of a second. Make sure your camera is set to its burst or continuous drive mode so it takes a succession of shots and plug in your shutter release cable. Now carefully light another match and hold it in one hand, then with your other hand hold your shutter release cable. When you're ready, hold down the shutter button on the release cable so that it takes a burst of images and proceed to bring the two matches together. Then blow out both matches and stick them in a pot of sand or a beaker of water. It's best to do this setup a few times so you have multiple mini explosions to choose from. This will increase your chance of getting a really good one. Look through all of your shots back at your computer. We're using bridge here and star rating the good ones by pressing Control or Command and 1. We can then choose the option to only see the star rated shots by going over to the filter panel and under the ratings heading, ticking the one star option. Here I've opened up the image I want to work on in elements and you can see that the other match we used to light it is still in shot below the fire. And it would look much better if this wasn't in the frame. The easy solution is to grab the spot healing brush tool, use the square bracket keys to resize and then paint over the offending match. Photoshop usually does a pretty good job of fixing the area, but if you want more manual control you can grab the clone stamp tool to borrow pixels from another part of your shot, or even patch it together manually using the polygonal lasso tool. For the really complicated area below, we just removed it from the frame with a simple crop using the crop tool. So that's everything you need to know about capturing a matchstick bursting into flame. So raid your kitchen drawers and give it a go now.